Hey everyone, today we're going to start the UI for our player index where the player will be able to see all the markers they have got and all the markers that are available in the game. So to start, we need to go to start a GUI and we need to add in a screen GUI. Now what a screen GUI is, is it allows you to add buttons, frames and cool like pictures and things like that onto your screen so the player can click or view. So let's add in a frame. And this is a cool little, it's kind of like a block, really. It's like a square of information. We can get cool images in these frames. We can put buttons on these frames. We can really do anything. Now, this is going to be our index. So if you've ever seen an index in even like simulator games, they've got a pet index. You can kind of have an idea of what they look like. So let's position our frame here on the screen. Now, in the future, we may actually do a video on GUI. A separate video on how to make GUI and how to navigate it but for now we're going to rename this frame and we need to call it well anything really but I'm gonna call it index that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the name index not index index like so okay now the size of this we can see if we open this up we currently have the size on the offset and not the scale that is not very good because that means as we expand the screen, different devices, if we go to view quickly and, sorry, test and device, you'll see different devices don't see the UI properly. So to fix that, let's turn off device. We need to go under our, our size and make sure everything's on a scale and not an offset. So I'm just going to put 0 0.50 for the offset and then 0 0.50 again. And we can kind of play around with this until it's to our liking. So let's maybe give it a size like that. That will do. And perfect. Now you'll see we can snap to the center here. So that's what I'm going to do. And under this index, let's give it a color. So I'm going to give it the color blue because I think blue is quite a nice color that matches with a lot of things in Roblox, especially with simulators. You see it quite commonly used. Now let's add in a UI corner and we'll set the corner radius to maybe one and zero okay that's a lot so let's set the scale to like 0 0.2 even that's a lot let's set the scale to 0 0.05 that's a bit better now if we go into our index we can add well first thing we want to add is image labels or i guess or but uh, text labels so i'm going to add in a text label and this you'll see in a minute i set to 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 0.2 comma 0 and rescale this to the size. So we've got four quadrants, so we're gonna need four of these. You will see why in a minute. So I'm gonna set this to maybe 150 by 150, like that. And I'm gonna position it 24, 25, 25, like so. And now we're gonna duplicate this, and we're gonna have to, that'll be 200, because you can see snapped here, that's 175 from the top. We wanna add 25 to get to 200. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. We're actually going to run out of room. Now you want to do this for as many worlds as you have. Let me change the scale of these down a little bit. So I can hold shift and actually resize. So we want about that. That, that should do. So 25. So now we see that's 143. 143 plus 25 is 168. So we want that to be 168. Like so. And we'll see this one is at 1... 155 from the bottom so we're actually going from the bottom now so an easy thing we can do is duplicate these top two bring them down these may actually need to be even smaller so basically we just want to keep playing around with the size until they're to our liking okay once you're happy with it and it's kind of there i mean i'm not going to do it perfect but of course you can put more time into this we now want to rename these labels so this will be grass uh what do we actually have these so let's go into our land our sectors. Oh, we don't actually have names for them. All right. So uh, anyway, the grass. We've got desert, um, snow. Of course, you may have proper names for your land. I'm just kind of and then rock. Yeah, that's just kind of what I'm going for. So anyway, so this would be grass. So I'm going to kind of give it a green color for the grass. Give it some white text. Give it a stroke transparency. White text. Uh, scale it up grass desert uh once again zero stroke transparency make it a white text and this will be desert and i'm going to make it yellow so give it a yellowy color also i need to scale it 
so scale now you can kind of see we've got this UI going what we want to do now is in our index we're gonna add in a folder we're gonna rename this folder and we're gonna call it sectors and we can just drag these uh, four texts into the sectors folder next we're gonna add in a new folder for this will be grass so let's rename this to grass and in here we're gonna add in some frames or some actual we're actually we're just gonna need image labels but before we do that let's add in a frame and I'll show you why we're gonna rename this to view and what we're gonna do is set the size to 0 0.10 0 0.10 this will give us kind of like a rough thing so now we can scale it along the actual scale and not the offset so let's set it to the same size as this grass button uh, sorry text and make it go along like that and now that we've done that we can set the transparency to 1 or if you want a transparency you could have like maybe a point uh, maybe you could set it at a zero and then use your pick screen color to get a color exactly the same but make it a tiny bit darker. You could do that. Although I've just done that for the border color and not the actual color. So you could have something like that. In fact, actually, that's what I'm going to do. And then to this, I'm going to add... Now, we could add in an image label straight away. But let's go to UI and let's get a list layout. Now, uh, now what you'll see is if we add in an image button, if we go to this list layout... We want the fill direction to be horizontal. Change the horizontal alignment to center. Or maybe left actually. Change the vertical alignment to center. And let's go for the padding for a scale of 0 0.1. Now you'll see if we duplicate these. We can fit in loads of buttons. So in the grass area how many markers have we got? I've got four. So I only needed four buttons. If you have more you may want to change your padding size. Lower that down to maybe like lower. Because then you can fit more in. But I'm pretty happy with 0.1. It does fit for me. Now, we could try and um, make this a bit more spaced out. So we could set an offset. Although I wouldn't. I would not set offsets because it does kind of make it look a bit strange. Let's go horizontal alignment center as well. And then, perfect. And then in each of these images, you could have an image of your marker. Which I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But first, I want to duplicate this. And this one will become desert. Duplicate it again. Uh, this one will be rock. And duplicate again. This one will be snow. And I've just realized I've not renamed the rock label to rock. Okay. And now, let's go into our desert. Get our view. And we're going to drag it down. Oh, we've grabbed our snow. Okay, let's drag our snow down first. Now we want to. Now can we drag our desert? This has got our rock. Okay, just pay attention to what it's grabbing down here. Now if we grab it, it's got our grass. So let's just bring our grass up. Bring our desert down and put our grass back on where it was. Like that. Now we've got all of our kind of an index of what we have and what we don't. Now we can go fill these with some images. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do that after this video. But I'll show you how to do it. So let's, let me close up all of these. Um, hi, let me disable the screen GUI for now. What you can do is go up to a marker. Uh, if you just drag it away, what you kind of want to do is get a white background. So you can make like a box. Let me. So what you want is something like that really. And then you want to rotate it so it's on its flat on its side. And then you want to click top up here. You might have to rotate. Okay, so yes, yeah, so a top. So we're going to have to rotate it. If we hit top, we've got to rotate it this way so it's facing upwards and then just drag it in. Make sure this is completely white on the background. Uh, if we put it smooth plastic, it will make it even less reflective. And top, you'll see we've got a shadow here. We can go to lighting and we can turn off global shadows. What we can then do is go down to our windows or whatever you use and we can search snipping tool and open that up. If you don't have snipping tool, then you can use uh, other software. There's software out there. You can screenshot. And anyway, we're going to hit new. And we're just going to snip around the area. But make sure your mode is on freeform or rectangular snip. And snip around the area. It doesn't matter if you don't get it all in. We can then file save it. And then what we can do, we can go into some free online software such as Photopia. Or Photopia, as 
It's depending on how you want to say it. Or photo P. I don't know. I don't know how you meant to say it. But yeah, new project. Create. And we can paste in our image here. And then we just use this magic wand to select the background and delete it. And if we delete this background as well, it will make it transparent. That's if you want it transparent. You might genuinely just want the white background. It's up to you. But once you've done that, you can export it and bring it over. What I would personally do is I would select the background, hit select inverse, and then cut out the actual layer here. So we've just got the white background. Then I'll select deselect, paste it back in, but then center it on the screen. So it's snap it to the center like that. Now let's look at our um, screen GUI, let's re-enable it. You'll see our buttons are squares, so let's go over to our grass, view. Uh, this first button, the size is 0, 100 by 100. Now let's have a look, we're going to get scale problems. So for this image label, we need to actually resize all of these. So make sure you resize them. Uh, I'm actually going to get constraints because of the UI list, so I can't do anything about that now that is the joys of layouts so yeah make sure you don't make the same mistake i did and scale them uh change the size by the scale and not the offset first anyway we can see the size is 100 pixels by 100 pixels if you've done it by scale and not offset you'll be able to see the size here so 100 by 100 so under our photo here let's file new and we want 100 by 100 white background and let's paste in our cut out shape. We may have to scale it down a bit. We can do that by grabbing this bottom corner and just simply dragging it in. Next, we want to center it like that, save. And it may not be perfect. I've not really put a lot of time and effort, but if you get the right angle, you can line it up perfectly. Then we can file, export, PNG, and save. Okay, now back over to our image label. We can, if we want, we can actually rename this. So let's rename it to the marker bouncy marker with the space and we can see the image is actually this wasn't even meant to be the bouncy marker was it we want so bouncy cave podium this will be the podium marker it doesn't really matter what order you do these in podium marker and let's add an image choose file and create it will load and then it will be in here now you could go up here and change the background transparency to one but that won't really work with an image you'd want to go to um, image transparency, but then that will remove the whole image. So you can't really change the background, but you can change the color, although that will mess with the actual color. I'll just leave that as white. Anyway, once we've got all of our markers, you want to simply do that for each marker, get all your markers down and you'll be done. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to do the rest of my markers and I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, once you've got all of your markers, we can delete this white background. Now you, wait, you may wish to add a text label to this uh, thing here. We can set the size to 1010 and then just drag it down. Uh, and then we can give it its name. So bouncy marker like so. Now we're actually going to do this in the script for now. But if you want to give them placeholder names, you can, which I'll do for now. So I'm going to copy that, paste it into there. And we're just going to put one in each marker and rename them so this is cave marker uh this is sliding marker and podium marker like so now you'll see that it will actually kind of cover a bit of this image if you want you could drag them down so select all of them drag them down to below the image and then it will kind of cover just like that which is what i'm going to do um and yeah i think that's that's about it really for now of course, the more time and effort you put into this, the better it will look. But for now, that will do. You can fill up all of these. I'm not going to. Now, there's one more thing we need to do, which is to add a button to this here. And we'll call this close. And we're going to put it up there. I'm going to make it 50 by 50, I think. Or 52 by 52. I'm going to make it red. And I'm going to change the text to white. And I'm going to make the text literally an X. Scale it up and make it bold. Like that. And there we go, everyone. That is going to be my UI for now. Now, next episode, we're going to uh, make a button to open the UI. And we're going to start programming some of this um, index. So I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Um, so thanks for watching and goodbye.